Hello and welcome. If you are assigned to be a ballot judge, this will be your table. When you report at 5.30 in the morning, you will receive your supplies from the voting location manager. During a primary election, there will be multiple ballots based on party affiliation and issues, whereas during a general election, there might only be two. Once the voter hands you their authority to vote slip, you will select the correct ballot for that voter. Stub B will always stay attached to the bottom, so you will remove stub A from stub B. It is important that you double check to make sure that the precinct listed on their authority to vote slip matches the one on the ballot that you are giving to that voter. Every single ballot has a stub number at the bottom here. You will take that stub number and you will write it directly on the back of their authority to vote slip. Once you have done so, it is ready to be placed inside the authority to vote slip box. And then you are ready to remove stub A from the bottom of their ballot. Stub A will then be placed inside the stub box and then you are ready to hand the voter their ballot so that they may go and vote. In the event that the voter has mismarked their ballot, you will need to issue them a second ballot. Before doing so, you will have to take the first ballot and write void or defaced on both sides. You will then take your black marker and draw a line down both sides of that same ballot. Make sure to place that first ballot in the soiled or defaced envelope. Before issuing them the new ballot, you will grab one of these, a reissued ballot generic authority to vote slip. You'll write their name and the new stub number of the new ballot that they'll be receiving and place that inside the authority to vote slip box. You are now ready to give them their second ballot, or if it's their third ballot, their third ballot, so they can go and vote. 